Hey there guys, so welcome to my initial impressions. Now I know in the last few videos I've had a few impressions of you know this new Windows at the time but I think I can fully tell you my impressions now. It's been three days. Most people did it within the first couple of hours. I consider this my initial and my final impressions of the operating system at the time. Uh, we're learning new things every day about it so you know, if my mind changes, if something goes wrong, you will be the first to know. Uh, but it's a great operating system. As you can see, there is no more watermark down here. I did remove that. And I don't know why it always goes to that side. It's weird. Anyway, I removed it because it got a little bit of annoying. I don't like having it there, but most people were just like, oh, you're not running Windows 10. Dude, look at the fucking theme. Uh, I am actually running Windows 10 here. There you go. Uh, the operating system is so awesome. Like, if you go to pay something, that happens. That's pretty cool. And the new command prompt is so kick-ass. I actually like it a lot. Like you go to properties, you got this whole experimental tab and you're able to turn down the occupancy. Or turn it down to that much. And you got this whole occupant window thing going on. I do like that a lot. Um, that is definitely a favorite feature of mine. I don't live in command prompt because it's not the 90s anymore, right? So there's that. Also, I like how all my software, all my games run perfectly. Uh, in Windows 10 there's no issues at all and how Shadows of Mordor is extremely kick-ass I've uploaded my benchmarks uh, of Shadows of Mordor on YouTube already it shows the two initial benchmarks uh, stock and overclocked and it's it's just great software Avast is soon gonna come out with a beta for their antivirus for this operating system in the next few days which is great um, the consumer preview is already apparently being built, so uh, the next version will be available in January sometime. That's also amazing. And, you know, just the main features of it on its own are very, very nice. Many people that I know, entire forums of people that I know, are switching over to this as their main operating system because how stable and fast it is. Most people think something is going to go wrong. It's not. I put this thing to the fucking test to the point where I had the operating system crawling on the ground and it just stood back up and it's like, it ain't happening, bud. I am not being brought to my knees. I'm not Windows 7. And the entire underlying coding of this entire operating system has changed. Now, I'm not running the new uh, start menu. I, f I hate the thing. I'm going to be completely honest, this is the way I like to do things, and you're a game tool, so, you know, get the fuck over there with the rest of the game tools. Now, for you game developers, um, yes, where is it, yes, uh, yes, 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 Unreal Engine 4 runs, okay, just, I gotta show you that, don't I, I did a video on that I think this is the latest I had it running yesterday ah uh, mother f yeah, yeah 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 I get I get stop that <laughs> sorry about that there are some things I do have to download I haven't done yet like uh, V plus plus 2000 and Let's go 2013. Um, I have been most doing most of my work on my girlfriend's laptop anyway. And download that next. Uh, but that's just me, you know. Ah, wow. All right. So. Oh, did I seriously just exit out of that? Crap. Alright, I gotta go back in. I'm gonna show you it runs, and we're gonna continue talking, I guess. 
Uh, I did wipe out Windows 8.1 for this. Well, I didn't initially. I installed it on my secondary SSD, which holded OS X, but I needed more room for OS X, and I needed an excuse to use my other hard drives for Windows, so I did that. And I've just put the GM of 10.10 .10 OS X back on my other SSD. Uh, is it worth it? Yes. Um, I'm a Hackintosh guy, so it's a hobby of mine, and I like completing my hobbies. It's fun. Now, Cortana is built in. She is. She's built in here. But the only problem is she's not fully alive yet, if you will. She's kind of like just sitting in the background right now, waiting to be uh, fully initialized. She should be in the consumer preview, or at least the release candidate, depending. Her code is there, but it just needs to be completed, okay? Um, I can't wait to use her. Wow, can't wait to use a woman. Wow, that's horrible. <laughs> Not meant intentionally as that. For those who are having trouble with um, DirectX, I had had no trouble at all. You have to use the web installer. It automatically adjusts to the operating system you're installing it on. Next, Net Framework 3.5 and 2.0. Those will just install normally uh, if you have an app that needs to be installed normally. And I'm not sticking that in there because I have a I, I, it's only a 60 gig drive right now so um, speed speeds great I have to admit Windows 10 is amazing ISO 8 is amazing OS X 10.10 .10 is amazing Three great operating systems have been released this year, and I'm happy as all hell that they have. Now, I've not tried the Enterprise version yet, and I don't really plan on doing it, uh, but if I do, you know it's going to be magic. There you go. That compiled pretty damn quick. I guess it's still on the pre-compiled cache from before. But anyway, I am about to do uh, an overview of Substance Painter, of course, with a few of my own models. So look out for that. And uh, I have an indie bundle full of stuff and another indie bundle and another program to do thanks to, um, thanks to these guys. Algorithmic, algorithm Rhythmic, you guys rock. I'm going to be honest. Thank you for existing. Love your products. Just wish your uh, your codes could activate on Steam. That'd be great. I use Steam for pretty much everything. All right. Initial impressions end here. I give this operating system a 10 out of 10. By the way, Windows 9 was Windows 8.1. Just I thought I'd let you know that. But they couldn't name it Windows 9 because of an old scripting error in Windows 95 and legacy operating systems such as that. Just a little tidbit. Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Do remember to subscribe, like the video, share the video, and leave your opinions in the comments below. Make sure they're clean, or else they disappear. You know, kind of like an NVIDIA user's performance after a year or two.